Hi guys, today I want to look at ApeCoin. Someone mentioned it to me the other day, asking me whether I thought it still had potential because it did quite well in the last bull run. And this person was asking me, do you think it'll do well in the next bull run? Is it worth buying now? Because it looks really cheap, just over a dollar. This token did go to about $25, $26. So is it 25 X down? Um, well, we'll see, won't we? The market cap at the moment is just under 400 million and the fully diluted market cap would be just over a billion. Okay, so that means that it's got about 35 to 40% of its supply out at the moment. Um, as you can see here, look, 36%. So 368 million tokens have been released out of 1 billion and what you need to take in, into account if you're going to buy this token is how many tokens will be released by the time I want to cash my tokens out probably in late 2025 well you need to do a little bit of a, a dive to find that find that out and uh, luckily ApeCoin have got a website where they do give information about the release of the token. So, you know, that's a positive sign. Let's just go over to the website then and have a look. So it's quite nice when you first click on the website, they've got this uh, spinning coin, which is the ape coin. Okay. Um, not a lot else though, is there on that homepage? So let's go to about. Ugh. No, I don't like this. This is the ugliest. Um, text you know on a website i mean just a black background and white text i mean i like you know just tell me in simple black and white but a website has got to have a little bit more style a little bit more panache you know to impress people and there's no color here it just makes you want to go away from the website you know anyway let's see what they're saying um Culture has found new expression in Web3 through art, gaming, entertainment, and events. Possibilities are endless. Of course, you're going to say that. Uh, Ape is a token made to support what's next. In other words, they can use it for anything. That's quite good because, like, well, we can use ApeCoin to buy this and to trade that and swap that. Possibly it's a good use case. It will serve as a decentralized protocol layer for community-led initiatives. So they're claiming to be decentralized. They're, they're claiming that they will be community-led. So we'll see if that's true. And drive culture. I don't think this token is going to drive to uh, culture, you know, drive culture forward into the metaverse. I don't think metaverse is even a culture. You know, it's just an aspect of the 2024-2025 bull run. And the metaverse obviously might not take off if people don't find it interesting enough. It could just be a flash in the pan during the bull run. But you know, a lot of people now are into gaming and the metaverse and gaming are going to be quite big, but is that really gonna drive culture? You know, we already have culture. This is just gaming and something that exists on computers, okay. The Ape Foundation, okay, I don't want to go through that, or the DAO, you know, the Decentralized Autonomous Organization, so they claim that they're decentralized, okay. Okay, and you can see here some of these uh, Bored Ape uh, NFTs that went for, you know, a fortune, and I, I don't really think they they have that value. I think the, the value, I think they're overvalued, and I think people holding them might struggle to get their money back in the next bull run. And I think if you think the price of these are going up, well, maybe, you know, um, anything can happen in crypto, but I just think there's so many of these N NFTs out now and these are nothing new now. You know, they're kind of like yesterday's news, you know, and okay, you might, you might think that the artwork is nice, it's funky, but this is just, you know, computer generated and reproduced and you know put different specs on change the color put a hat on him give him pink skin 
you know, give him a weird, ex you know, but it's the same thing basically again and again. So even though that they are called non-fungible tokens, they're really just copies, you know, and then just change some of the features to make them um, non-fungible. So for me, a lot of these mass-produced NFTs are inverted commas, a bit scammy, you know. Anyway, I don't. I think people are going to see through this in the next bull run, and they just won't be buying this stuff, you know. I think they'll think, well, you know, you just people were only buying them anyway because they thought that they could make money out of them, not because they thought the art was anything amazing, you know. Okay, ApeCoin protocol, ERC20 token. So you're going to pay a lot of money in the bull run if you want to transfer this token. You could just buy it on a central exchange and risk losing it if the exchange goes down. Um, I advise, uh, not financial advice, of course, but I, I would advise people in my opinion, to put all your crypto on a cold storage wallet. Okay, and then down here you can see it talks about the ApeCoin allocation, about the tokens. They're permanently fixed at 1 billion. Okay, so uh, you know what you're dealing with in terms of maximum tokens. And let's see where those tokens are being allocated. So they were given a certain amount of the tokens, as you can see, like nearly 40% out now. And this started in March 17, 2020. So that's about, what, three and a half years ago. And most of the tokens were unlocked on a 48, 36, I think it's 24 months, 36 months, 48 months schedule. So by the time you want to sell your tokens, probably most of them might be out. So, you know, expect maybe 70 80 percent of the ape coin tokens to be out now what does that do it it, it it doubles the amount of tokens that are going to be out by the time you want to sell so if you're buying now at a dollar just over a dollar really the value of the token by the time you sell it you know it's like you're only putting in you know um 50 cents or it's like if you put a thousand dollars in it's like your investment is only really $500 now because of the token dilution. Okay, let's see where all the tokens went. So 62% to the ecosystem fund. So they got 150 million on launch. And then you can see there that half a billion tokens to the Dow Treasury and resources. And you can see that they're unlocked over 48 months. So all these tokens are probably going to be out by the time you try and sell. That's a lot. <laughs> um, Yuga Labs, which was involved in the development of the project project um, at its inception, also you know got a quite a nice uh, payout. They got 16%. So 150 million of their tokens uh, lock up for 12 months, then 36 months release. So again all their tokens will be out. What's that? 62, 72, 78. That's nearly 80% already. Launch contributors. So lockup schedules vary, but fall into one of two categories. So um, it's not a huge amount, this, you know. But again, uh, you're looking at lockups of 12 months and then 33 months. Again, by the time you want to sell your tokens, they probably got all these free tokens so you know if you put 10 grand in and you've made a 3x let's say you did 30 grand they might just drop their tokens when they've made 20 grand from putting nothing in so you've got to be very careful you know because there's a lot of people with free tokens so it doesn't look good on the tokenomics side does it the website <laughs> for me it's the worst ever. I mean, looks like, you know, an eighth grader made it, yeah? Um, okay, guys, let's just have a quick look at um, Dex Tools and Quick Intel. See if we can find anything there that's dodgy about the project. So it's getting a pretty good score on Dex score. So the project reliability score, it's getting 99 out of 99. Um, I've said before, and I'll say it again, Sometimes, you know, these tools that are free tools, they are computer generated. 
They don't have the discernment of a human. They just go through certain algorithms and they give you a result. So um, I think good scammers know how to bypass those. So, you know, when I see this on Dex Tools, I always treat it with a pinch of salt. Let's have a look at the audits then. See if we can see anything there. No, nothing, you know. There's nothing there whatsoever. Okay, so it's looking pretty good on Dex Tools. You know, if Dex Tools is anything to go by. Let's have a look at Quick Intel. So Quick Intel, okay, there's one warning there. There's a caution there, neutral 5, 14, good. Okay, now, has it renounced ownership of the project? No. Okay, so that suggests that it's quite centralized, the project. Has liquid liquidity been locked or burned? No. Now, you know, for a project that's already been through one bull run and got to 6 billion market cap, okay, it's down now at 400 million because we're in a bear run. Why are they not locking up the liquidity? You know, it looks like they could just pull the liquidity off the exchanges. So uh, this could possibly be a rug pull, you know. Um, you wouldn't think so because it was, I don't know, I think it was in the top 20 tokens, yeah, at one point. And, you know, there was quite a big following for ApeCoin. So let's have a look at ApeCoin website on, on Scam Advisor. So <laughs> this is uh, not good, you know. It's getting a trust score of 10, 10%, okay? 10 out of 100. So it says low trust rating. This site may not be safe to use. I mean, I've already, you know, commented that I think the website is awful, you know. And I think they, they should have hired someone to make a decent website, you know. Um, it does look scammy when you've got a crappy website, you know. So ApeCoin has a very low trust score. There's a strong likelihood the website is a scam. Be very careful when using this website. So, you know, who do you trust more? ApeCoin or Scam Advisor? When our algorithm automatically reviewed ApeCoin, we looked at many factors such as ownership, location, popularity, uh, reviews, fake products, threats, and phishing. Okay, so that's what their score is based on. A trust score is created using all the collected data, as I just said. So um, it may not be a scam, but a legit and safe site. Okay, so do your own research, it says here. It says our algorithm is not perfect. Okay, but this scam advisor is pretty good at unearthing some things, uncovering certain things, negative highlights. So here we are. They're telling you a few negatives here, look. Registered contact email address is a free one. Six billion dollar market cap and you couldn't get your own email, you know, linked to your own website. Technical contract email address is a free one. These, these are bad signs, guys. Admin contract email is a free one. <laughs> According to Tranco, the site has a low rank, so probably it's not getting much traffic. I mean, who would want to stay on that website for more than about, you know, two minutes? I mean, yeah. The website may offer high risk cryptocurrency services. Yeah. You know, some cryptocurrency are very high risk because, you know, they're dodgy and some are less high risk, aren't they? As we know, you know, so at the moment I'm seeing ApeCoin as very high risk. I'm seeing Ethereum and Bitcoin as very, very, very low risk. So, I think you can probably get maybe a 6x out of Ethereum. I'm just wondering what you can get out of ApeCoin and if it's worth the risk. So there's a few people here commenting. So here, notorious scheme. They'll never let you take out your money. Don't be cajoled by the huge offer of profits. They are swindlers. If you have your money stuck there. Okay, whatever. I don't know what... Okay, he goes on, that guy. Uh, so this is another um, review. These have all got one star, these reviews. That's the lowest you can give it. I always had high hopes in this platform due to the lady that introduced me. She claimed her brother works in Wall Street. I'd be making 
a financial lifetime decision. Maybe you were, but not how you thought. Okay, I always had, I think this is the same one, yeah? Okay, so these two guys are the same person. Maybe all three are, who knows, you know. Full review, ApeCoin is using a free email address for administration. Websites usually use an email address related to the website or corporate email address. Smaller websites will use a free email address because they don't have as much money yeah, to, to spend on their marketing and uh, the website. An email address related to the domain name is a positive sign. So they don't have that. We've already seen that the website is you know, pretty crap. Yeah? Web, web shop analysis. So again, contact email address for registering is a free one. <laughs> this is not necessarily a bad thing. It's uncommon for a professional website. Well, it's pretty obvious it's not a professional website. Um, larger websites can be expected to use the domain name for email. Um, I mean, another thing about ApeCoin is you can't find the team on it. There's no team here on the website. And the website is, you know, underpants, yeah? <laughs> okay, I'm now looking at Certic. Okay, this is the company that audited ApeCoin, their smart contract. So if there's anything really bad, Certic will find it. Okay, uh, again, they use algorithms, but um, they tend to be more thorough. And I think you get better information from a good aud auditing company than you do from Dex Tools and Quick Intel. Okay, so Quick Intel has told us that there's no liquidity locked. That's a bad thing. What are Certic telling us? Well, ApeCoin Info created to support the Ape ecosystem, ApeCoin is a governance utility token, allows token holders to participate in ApeCoin DAO, receive privileged access to certain parts of the ecosystem, including exclusive games or services. Okay, so it doesn't really say anything, <laughs> in my opinion, you know. Um, it's getting a 92% score. Let's have a look at any issues here. So, here, there's one major issue, centralization. So because a lot of the tokens were locked into um, the control of the team, the project is, is very centralized, okay? So remember on the website, they talk a lot about being decentralized. Well, you can see here on Certic that that is not true. They might be trying to go towards decentralization, but right now they're not centralized and a project that's been going this long that's still very centralized. Personally, I would steer clear of it. Uh, logical issues. Uh, this looks like a minor issue here, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Okay. And fundamental health. So you can see here KYC status. They're not KYC, the team. So team's hiding. Um, liquidity is not locked on centralized exchanges could be a rug pull yeah it could get rug pulled any time this and who are you going to turn to you know maybe your mummy and start crying yeah <laughs> all right so if you're holding apecoin you know let's have a look what do we think it can do because a lot of people must still be holding this you know because they bought it at 15 20 dollars maybe 25 dollars so you can see here over the last year, as soon as we came into the bear run, it just tanked and tanked and tanked and tanked. I remember some YouTubers like calling out and, and talking about it like, ApeCoin now is only $5. <laughs> well, yeah, at the beginning of a bear run, it's $5. At the end of the bear run, it's what? Maybe it goes down to 50 cents, 30 cents, who knows, yeah? Okay, so what do I see as the potential? Well. I see 80% of the supply being out, okay? And if we look at, so that will double the supply. And obviously, it went to a market cap of 6.7 billion. Do I think it will get back to that? Well, it would now have to go to something like 15 billion, probably. So... You know, the tokens are going to get diluted a lot. So 
yeah, if you bought it early here, you were getting the tokens at a better price, a better value. But, you know, as time goes on and more tokens get released, then the value of those tokens are going to go down. I think you're going to have token dilution. So I can't see this doing more than a 3 or 4x, to be honest. So I think if you put in $1,000, you'd be lucky to get out $3,000. So personally, I will not be buying this. I wouldn't touch it actually with a barge pole. Um, but you do your own research. You know, don't trust a YouTuber like me. Work it out for yourselves. Personally, I think it doesn't have a future ape coin, and it's it's perfect, isn't it, for a rug pull? As soon as some cash goes in, yeah, it's like okay, we're not going to make any more money on this project. We're off, you know, <laughs> we're off to the races. Put the money on the GGs, uh, because you know. I just think there's other better projects. I mean, you could buy Uniswap, you could buy Ethereum, Bitcoin. I think you'll get more upside on those than ApeCoin. Okay, guys, let me know what your opinion is. Drop a comment below. And thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one. It's time for a cup of tea. Cheers.